Days ago when I started seeing Secret Service and Black Hawk helicopters, I, I must admit that there's an excitement to it. I've never seen a president. I'm 40 years old. I've never been close to a president. It's exciting. But uh, I, it's as if I'm morally torn because this president and, and, and the policies that we have going on now, I am so against what's going on in my country. It, it almost makes me feel as though I'm angry at myself to be excited that the president's going to be giving a talk in my backyard. I think it's cool that he's coming to Richmond, to this neighborhood, but I think it's not very cool that not everyone gets to come. Because technically, if it's a backyard speech and it's for the community, then everybody in the community should come, not just a selected bunch of people. So if he's going to come and talk to us, he should come and talk to everybody and get everybody's opinion. It's, it's been interesting to see the, the amount of work that goes into it and the, um, the amount of effort that um, everybody's been putting together to, to get ready for him and to prepare for his arrival. We talked to some of the police, some of the Secret Service, uh, they're all very nice. We already know we're going to get nowhere near the president. We're probably not going to see him other than the back of his head going in uh, to do his backyard talk. Um, but, but the most amazing thing happens, uh, we see action starting again, motorcycles are cranking up, so we know it's over. The entourage starts getting in the other cars. Barack Obama exits and he comes through the buses and our, uh, my wife and my, our friend Paige um, get down really close to the street. The, the coolest thing, he motions for her to come over. Oh, how lucky. And Paige isn't scared at all. Paige takes a couple steps down and uh, Secret Service immediately are like, what are you doing? And uh, the president goes, no, come on over. And uh, Paige went over and Barack Obama gave uh, Paige a kiss and uh, said hi to Paige's little baby. And then they got their picture taken. That, you know, that's pretty cool. I, I, you know, I don't know if it's being starstruck. Uh, it's special. Uh, especially for someone like myself, um, I am probably not as far on the other end of the political spectrum as a president. It's still a pretty amazing thing. Uh, I'll tell you, honestly, is it worth it? Uh, all the, everything that was done and spent? No. No one ever even took a glimpse at all the work that had been done. You know, he shows up and he's escorted immediately through some junky old buses into a building. 
uh, would I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Uh, there was no way I wasn't going to be at my house. I missed work today because I knew I was going to be at my house with my wife and my son watching the president drive by. It'll never happen again. 